Your bedroom is the ultimate expression of your personality. So today, Crafty Hackers is bringing you the best DIY projects for your bedroom. These hacks will let you transform your space and show off your personal style. If you're new to Crafty Hackers, don't forget to subscribe by clicking the button in the upper right corner and give this video a thumbs up. Now let's get started. Futuristic Trash Basket. Instead of throwing away your old egg crates, upcycle them into a futuristic trash basket. Start by painting the surface of an egg crate. We painted both the round and spiky sides of the crates for a fun variance in texture. Next, use a hot glue gun to attach the sides of the crates into an open-ended cube. We painted our basket with stripes, but we think it would look great in a bold solid color too. Lastly, you're going to attach the crates to a cardboard base by tracing a thick line of hot glue around the perimeter and placing your egg crate tube on top. Now you've got a modern way to house your trash. Wooden shelf. We love this crafty way to show off succulent plants. For this hack, you'll need two matching shadow box frames and some hot glue. Start by removing the glass backings from your frames. Next, you'll spread a layer of hot glue around the back of one frame and attach it to the back of your second frame. Once the glue sets, you can hang your shelf for a minimalist way to show off your green thumb. Decorated embroidery frame. If your style is a little more vintage inspired than modern, this hack's for you. It's a great way to show off any dried or silk flowers you've saved. First, cut out a scrap of sheer fabric that is just slightly larger than your wooden embroidery frame. Next, you'll use the frame to secure the fabric and trim off any excess. Using a toothpick, you can delicately attach pebbles to the bottom edge of the fabric about a third of the way up your frame. Next, glue down some sprigs of your saved plant to create an illusion of a small natural landscape. Mix and match colors to add a little depth. Lastly, fill the space at the top with some larger blooms and you've got a dainty and beautiful piece of natural art. Candle. Great smelling candles are a way to give your room that extra wow factor. Here's a way to naturally make your bedroom smell amazing. Start by slicing some citrus fruits and placing them in the bottom of a lidded jar. Next, add layers to the aroma with spices like rosemary, dried lavender, cinnamon sticks, and lavender essential oil. Fill the jar with water to help blend all the scents. Next, coat the wick of a small floating candle with nail polish to prevent it from getting too wet. Float it on top of the water in your jar. This candle makes a beautiful addition to any counter space and looks even more amazing when lit. Sweater basket. Here's a chic way to store any trinkets you have laying around. First, cut the lid off a large shoe box. Next, you're going to cut the sleeves off an old sweater and put it around the box. The bottom hem of the sweater should hang just over the bottom of the inside of the box. Glue the sweater to the box so that both sides of the box are nice and smooth. For the bottom, you're going to want to trim off a lot of fabric, cutting it so you have just enough to cover the bottom of the box. Glue the sweater to the box and fold the remaining fabric into triangles before gluing it down, just like you would when wrapping a present. Lastly, attach two same size ribbons to the sides of the box with some rectangles of glue to make dainty handles. There you go, a chic way to declutter your space. Balloon family, here's a whimsical decoration for your room that's super fun to make. Use a funnel and a spoon to pack colored balloons full of cornstarch. Next. Secure the balloons closed with some embroidery floss and continue tying colors of embroidery floss around the top of the balloon, fraying the strings to look like hair. Finish by using a permanent marker to draw funny faces. How silly are these guys? Colored candlestick. Who would have thought a ladle could be used for decorating your bedroom? Make a funky candle holder by gluing a ladle to a small wooden cutting board. Hang it on the wall and light the candle for a little ambiance. Photos on the wall. First, measure the center on the tops and bottoms of your photos. 
Next, use a needle to thread your photos onto some string using your markers as a guide. Now, tie your strings of photos onto a piece of found wood and hang on your wall. What a cool way to display your photography skills. Picture frame tray. In this hack, we'll be transforming a large picture frame into a multi-use tray. You'll need a frame, some sheets of cardboard, a table mat placement, and some handles. First, layer your sheets of cardboard and the photo matting with double-sided tape to make a sturdy, solid base for the tray. Next, place the table mat into the frame to make a beautiful and easy to clean surface for the tray. Drop in your layered cardboard and fasten up the back of the frame. Measure your handles and align them with the center of the frame before hot gluing them to the sides. Breakfast in bed, anyone? Straw Mobile. Did you know you can use colored straws to make an awesome geometric mobile for your room? All you need are some straight colored straws and some clear fishing wire or fishing line. String the wire through three straws and fasten into a triangle shape. Next, attach a straw to each joint of the triangle and bring them all together to make a pyramid shape. Hang this to your ceiling with some fishing line for a modern and colorful decoration. Jeans Pillow Pouch Here's a new use for an old pair of jeans. Use some chalk to draw a line at the point where your pant legs end. Cut across the pants just above the inseam. Glue the back of the waistband down to make a hem. Now use your hot glue to seal the waistband with the pants shut. Next, you're going to make a hem on the cut sides of your pants. Trace a line of hot glue near the edges of your pants and fold a small bit of fabric over. Then spread a line of hot glue along your bottom hem and attach a strip of Velcro before securing the top of your Velcro to the top hem of the opening. Once the glue sets, open your jean pouch and place a folded towel inside for filling. Now you have a great and functional pillow with pockets for storage. Laundry basket. Piles of dirty laundry are so not aesthetically pleasing, but this fun laundry basket is. You'll need some colored fabric, fusible interfacing material, and a small round rug. First, sketch out a design for your laundry basket. We chose to embroider on a cute cat face with a little yarn. Next, use an iron to attach the fabric to the interfacing. Don't forget to seal in the cut edges of the fabric. Sew the short ends of your fabric together to make the walls of your laundry basket. Then, sew the cylinder to your rug to make the base for your basket. Now you'll see this cute cat face instead of your dirty laundry. Much better. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and tell us in the comments which of these hacks is your favorite. Click the link to subscribe so you never miss one of our awesome DIY projects. Thanks for watching Crafty Hackers. See you again next time.